Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Bird's Eye View, and as always, I am the War Duck, and I am here with the lovely uh, Mr. Crow. Hello, everybody. Welcome. And since today we are recording this on Super Bowl Sunday day, and a bunch of people like to get brand new TVs to watch the Super Bowl, um, this article kind of struck me, and I think I knew this in the back of my head, kind of. But when you read it and kind of really see what they're saying, like it kind of brings that a little more. And um, so here is the article. It is what the tech, why are TV prices at a historic low? Yeah. And um, I was and like, now is your time to buy the buy the TVs. You're right. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, you know, why that is a good question. So it says Amazon has dropped the price of the small of of small TVs to their lowest price ever. Uh so mm -hmm. have other retailers, blah blah blah. Um if you're if you'll be interested to know, we found four years ago 65 inch Samsung TVs on sale at regular price of four thousand dollars to thirty. Why did you do that? It should be thirty four hundred to four thousand, not the other I, that's annoying. All right. So anyway, anyway, from thirty-four to four thousand uh, dollars. Checking prices today, we found that the same TV is just nine hundred dollars. Yeah, but that's four years old technology. So, all right. Yeah. A Sony TV. At... Yeah. So so look at the ninety-five inch TV, which would be four years ago, which would be the sixty-five, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what that thing costs. I bet you that thing's four or five grand. Okay. A Sony TV was twenty three hundred last year, but can be purchased today for nine hundred today. Okay, well, that's a significant drop in one year, unless, um, and, and the problem I have is like I don't I don't know is the new OLED thingy the the newest thing, or is there a newest kind of TV right? Like, and if that's the case, then whatever technology was before of course is going to be cheaper because everybody wants the newer technology stuff but anyway all right um and, and, you know the other thing too is they're trying to push uh that every home has a minimum of 4k but they're now trying to get the 8k out there too so you know keeping all these things in mind i need lasik why, i can't tell the difference between sd and hd anymore <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it says, uh, and but the but here's the here's the reasoning. Here is the industry calls it post purchase monetization, rather than relying on sales. Samsung, Vizio, Sony, LG, and other manufacturers can track the shows you watch and sell the information to advertisers. So here's the real thing: is they sell you a cheap TV, knowing that they're just going to take the information they get or steal from your TV from, and then from sell you. it. Yeah without you knowing about it. All right. That's that's the one that got me. So it yeah. says, that revenue they earn as long as you own the TV. Yes, they're watching you, so to speak, while you watch TV. The smart TV function allows you to stream content from any streaming service, gathers data on who's watching, how often they are watching the show, a show, and for how long they watch. The valuable information advertisers want, allowing them to target viewers with advertisements for items they likely to be they're likely to be interested in. There's nothing terrible about that since most of that data isn't tied to personal information. See, I disagree with that statement. Period. <laughs> this makes but, me laugh because as I, I'm starting to think of I, I'm watching through Amazon Prime, right? And I've shut off a lot of my ads. Like don't don't track me, don't do this. But a lot of the ads that I get <laughs> don't re they're not relevant to me at yeah. all <laughs> so. so they know what you watch but not necessarily your name and that this is important the information is tied to your ip address so ads can potentially be sent to any account using your internet connection that includes anything you do on your computer see that's where that bothers me because yes. yep if what if my kids are watching something they have the same IP address. Mm -hmm. That that's where that's where it bothers me a little bit about this kind of thing. Is yes, it's not tied to a person, but it's tied to your household. And, and all right, so um, 
so, you know, it talks about what kind of average that this is. Uh, uh, if this is scary, you can turn off advertising tracking. Every TV manufacturer settings are different. So dive into the settings and look for the privacy and turn off personalization. I really doubt that actually does anything if the whole point of them is to sell this TV so cheap so they can track you. Well, I'm wondering if they're doing it. Yes, I agree to what you're saying too, but I'm wondering if they're doing it thinking ignorance is bliss because this is turned on by default. Not many people are going to go shut it off. But I think you're also right. Just shutting it off doesn't necessarily mean that I think they're still tracking you in some way. Yeah. In some, um, you know, in I don't know exactly how the it, like if it's turned on, it might be very specific. If you're that, if you are looking for a car or something, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, but if you turn it off, maybe they're still going to track you somehow, some way. Says if you're really you worried might. about the information smart TV gathers from you, you can always unplug them from the internet. But you lose most of the functionality. So what the? F I was going to say which defeats most of the purpose yeah. of why you have a smart TV anymore. All right. So, so that is the article. And, uh, we will run the clock now. And so the 10 minutes starts Don't forget now. To subscribe. Oh Don't yes. To subscribe. Please subscribe. And like. And Please leave like. Some comments. Please check out both channels, whatever one you're watching on, whether if you're watching on crows, check out mine It's down in the description. If you're watching on mine, please check out Mr. Crow. All right, yeah, so, exactly. so, like I said, um, I don't mind, like, well, here's the thing is, would you pay more for a TV that wouldn't track you? And how much more would you pay? Because I don't know that I would. I know it I, bothers see, me, I, but I'm my, like, ah, oh, man, do I really want to pay 1500 bucks for the same TV mm -hmm. when... That, that's what I was thinking, too. I'm like, my instinct is, yes, I, I, I would. But how much is that worth? Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough pill to swallow. And and the fact that I don't look like for me, I don't watch anything live. If it's on TV, no. it's on DVR and I'm fast forwarding. In fact, a lot of my DVR has a little function that once it's like a few days old, they flat skips the commercials for you. Nice. So I don't like yeah, I almost nice. never watch anything live except for maybe sports. And then when I stream, sometimes some of the streaming services have commercials and stuff, but I just tune them out Speaking and get on my phone during the commercial. So uh, exactly. That's I, I watch. I was just saying, you know, I watch Amazon Prime, um, but I watch a lot of the freebie stuff and it it just it comes on and it tells you, OK, we're going to do these many ads for this long. And I'm like, great. I'm going to hurry and go use the restroom. I'm going to go refill my yeah. water. I'm going to, like, I'm not here. I'm vacant. <laughs> like, yeah. show me whatever Par you want because Paramount I'm not there. Paramount Plus does that similar. Like, oh, you're going to watch a movie? Okay, we're going to show you all these ads up front. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll be back. You know, I'll like, go make popcorn now. <laughs> exactly. And then, it, then it's like, you get that, that nostalgia from back in the day when it was really commercial and it was live TV. Yeah. Hey, the show's coming on. So you're like, oh god, you know. <laughs> even Hurry, though they could just pause it, it but, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that, it's the same thing. My kids and I, the, you know, the little kids and I, we were watching a movie just the other day, and an ad came on, and they're like, oh. And I'm like, now it's time. Are you go take a break? Like, it's so funny because yeah, my instinct, my muscle memories of when I was their kid or their age. I'm just like, okay, let's hurry and go get the water. Let's I go got, do this. And I got and I 26 do other seconds to pee before the show comes back yeah. on. It gives me four seconds to run there and back. Exactly. <laughs> but they're, they are like, it's the end of the world. Their attention span is done. They're like, yeah. oh man, let's, okay, let's turn on the tablet. Let's like, <laughs> I'm like, what the, like, no, don't, don't go, go play something. Don't go. But, and so, yeah, I don't know if. <laughs> If I would, I definitely don't watch a lot of live TV. In fact, yeah. not much at all. Like I can't even name even news. You know, I I go check it out online. Yeah, I, like I said, I watch sports on live is about the only thing, <laughs> and and then not even all sports live, just some. Yeah, like today, like we mentioned Super Bowl. Um, yeah, I'll, yeah. I might watch that. Well, I will. Be I won't. Watching I won't watch that at all. But it's gonna be live, but yeah. I'm mostly there. For to just visit and fight with family and friends and I used whatnot, to watch so. the Super Bowl to watch the commercials 
And then, like, the last yeah. few years, they got really bad. And so, like, I think two years ago, the wife and I just quit watching it all together. We were like, yeah, whatever. So. Yeah, I think the last Super Bowl I really was invested in was when the New Orleans Saints were in. So that was, like, what? I couldn't tell you. 2012, maybe? <laughs> no <idea>. <laughs> Something to that effect. <laughs> so hey, it's, it's so, been a long time. So you, you said you watched Prime. I asked what. Have you seen The Peripheral? Mm-mm. Oh, dude! Check out the peripheral. It's a TV. Sh- it's a it's a series on, okay. uh, and I think they're doing season two, and it 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 only has like the briefest amount of tie in to virtual reality gaming. Okay. Only like in the first episode do they actually talk about that, and then it moves past that into this thing. I won't just spoil it for you, but I really enjoyed that show. You should check it out. Okay, so, so I've got right. two of them. Just, just that we're there. We've got season one, and then it looks like there's a movie. Is it the season one? Is it the season episode that you're talking I don't about? Know. Yeah, it's the season episode. I don't know. I don't yeah, know the, if there's a movie or not. There's a movie that came out in 2019. It's 90 minutes long. Or there's the peripheral uh, season one. Yeah, came out in 2020. Season one. I'll have yeah. to check out the other one to see if it even remotely ties in or not. But okay, so yeah. so I, I don't it. think. My initial reaction was, yes, I would spend more money for a TV that doesn't track you. Then now that I think about it, uh, no, I wouldn't. I, I would not. I would not do it because I don't watch them anyway. And I don't I don't ever buy anything. I, I don't think I've ever watched something on TV and been like, I'm buying that. No. I, I No. Not like when I was a kid, right? Like, oh, that's the new Transformer oh, that's coming know, out. Get the in. twins are so <laughs> bad about that. No. They're like, oh, I don't know about the Barbie. Oh, oh. And I'm like, no. I'm like oh, my God, no. It's like, <laughs> no, it's it's not. No, I don't. I don't buy anything because I saw a commercial or because I heard a commercial or even because I've seen an ad on Instagram, Facebook or whatever. And like mine's mostly Instagram and TikTok, but. I've never bought anything because of the ads from there either. I just I end I'm up buying but. more stuff I see off other people using them in YouTube than probably anything else. Yes. To be honest, that is yes, that is more. I am more. It's more of the influencer who is providing it for me. Well, like if I, I don't, see somebody I don't, using I don't it, think. Well, I don't want to call them an influencer per se. Like for example. If I watch I a video about, um, you know, because like I watch a, like a, like heavy D sparks where they go out and they do re- help people get unstuck and or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. And if they have something on there that they're using, not advertising, just something they're using, I may be more it's inclined yeah. to buy something like that than I would be for somebody to say, "Hey, this is the advertiser. You should go check them out." And blah blah blah. You know, I I wouldn't necessarily buy things that way but like like people are out doing stuff and then i happen to see it like the the mount i had for my gopro when i had the motorcycle is Mm -hmm. i i saw somebody with it and it was hanging down on their chin and i was like that's where i want my i don't want my video up here or up here you know i want it right right at my face level and so i you know i i uh watched enough to where I could figure out what it was and then went and bought it that way. That's kind of what I mean, like by that's, people using well, that's, it. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean too, is cause like, uh, you know, I'm also into the knife sharpening and I, I watch a lot of, it's weird. I, I never thought it I'd be down there. You're into knife sharpening. Just, I'm, I'm just really into watching get... people just <laughs> sit there. And oh, and it's like, uh, I, oh <laughs> that stone. Like I, that is, what kind of stone is that? And and I get really interested. So do you into... sharpen your own knives at home? Like all oh, the time? Yeah. Like every Sunday, Chris, uh, oh, just gotta bust out. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I'm like the, the, the plumber or the mechanic. Like, yes, I do sharpen my knives, but they're very neglected. My knives are probably a lot dull, a lot duller than the people's knives that I maintain and Take care of okay so it's not but like yes, it's I, not yeah. like it's something you're doing as like a hobby every weekend it's just something that you do when it needs it well i do it as a side business too but oh. for myself 
No, I I I make a lot of like I don't I don't want to say I make a lot of money, but I I do make uh I do make some money sharpening knives. I, I make a good chunk of change. No, I do sharpen my own knives uh, as needed oh, yeah. one, but I don't I don't uh, unless it's like the I first probably... time I've got it. Sometimes I'll actually take it somewhere if it's the first time. If I don't think the edge is fr- is is um, oh, okay. is quite right and it needs to be re edged, yeah. I'll take it somewhere. But if it's just sometimes oh. I'll just slab it on the stone for a few minutes and get it. But I bought this one. No, I love that stuff. I got this I'm, one I'm I really like. Um, yeah, man, it's sharp as it's it's like it's like worrisome sharp, and I've never sharpened it, but it's like worrisome sharp. It's like yeah. all right. That, so those are the ones I like. We got forty five so, seconds. Yeah, Anything just, else you want to say about this TV stuff? Um, if if. The only thing I have is it, it's not just limited to your TV. I wanted to bring oh, awareness yeah. that it's to everything, you know, check your phones, check your everything and anything you use, including your laptops, uh, your tablets, everything. Everything is watching. Everything is listening. Uh, just go in there, see if there's settings that you can shut off. Be aware of what's going on and why. And, I, and for That's me, I, I say, I hey. Doing. Go buy the cheap TV and enjoy the biggest cheap TV you can because I ain't buying none of the crap you try to show me anyway. So I'll take your cheap TV. (laughs) But with that, we are at out of time. So we are out of here. Hope to catch you next time. Thanks, everyone. Much love. I'll talk to you next time. Don't let your TV spy on you. Let me spy on you. (laughs)